Monticello, Minnesota isn't exactly the Old West, but a Monticello man could give you that impression. Carol Evans Boyd Hooper joins us as we saddle up for tonight's Land of 10,000 Stories. Give the guy on 101st Street credit for sticking to his story. 100 by 200 foot lot, no animals except Toby here. If he's wearing those boots and that hat, then this, by gosh, is a ranch. We call it a ranch. A better word might be eclectic. I get a fetish for outboard motors. The neighbors, all they did shake their head at me. Like, nothing surprises them anymore what I bring drag home. Okay, maybe they were a little surprised. This is my shop right here. When Mike Bray quit his job selling cars Come on in. and gave that hat and this ranch some authenticity. When I told my boss I was I was gonna quit and do this here. He thought I was nuttier than a fruitcake. Nearly 20 years have passed since this horseless cowboy drove a camper to Kansas to learn from a master leather artist. I just knew he could do it. Ren Bray supported her husband's pursuit of a crazy dream. This I'm making a headdress. That carried him from passion to profession. The finished product is gonna be Right here. Artist. Native American. Saddle maker. Come up with this. Entrepreneur. Barbed wire always sells. If something don't sell, throw barbed wire on it and it usually moves. Just don't try to buy. The Marines. This one. This is a saddle I built uh, in 2011. I call it the tribute to the troops. The waves. A year and a half spent carving. Rosie the Riveter. Then Mike began carrying his saddle. And God we trust. To honor veterans at events near and far right here, Army Special Forces. Never kept track of my hours. Um, I just look at it this way. It's um, nothing compared to what the hours our men and women are serving. Then again, last year, inspiration struck. This one is called Honor the Badge. As Mike began work on a saddle to honor law enforcement officers too. My idea was to get police badges from all over the state. Police, the military, and in between a third saddle. This one I call the Saddle of Hope. Mike's tribute in leather to those who battled cancer hit close to home after his neighbor Chloe Fruth, a champion barrel racer, was taken by cancer at 16. So then I asked her mother um, what Chloe's favorite um, saying was and she gave me that. Crafting a single leather flower takes patience. Crafting more than 1,500 flowers for a single hope-filled saddle takes something deeper. You asked which was my favorite, I think this one is here. Someone I love needs a cure. I was diagnosed with colon cancer at the age of 42. Wren's cancer was tough on Mike. Just give me a minute. It's the not knowing of if it's gonna go away or not or what's gonna happen. I'm supposed to be this big tough cowboy that cowboys don't cry. But cowboys do, occasionally, <laughs> need some time alone beneath their cowboy hats. Once you have it, that never goes away. Now cancer-free, Ren too has her symbol on her husband's saddle of hope. Yep, we survived. The ranch that isn't. The horses that aren't. But what is true under that hat is the cowboy's heart. Boyd Hooper, CARE 11 News, Monticello. He'll have a chance to see Mike Bray's honor saddles in person. He'll have them on display in the Coliseum during the entire run of the Minnesota State Fair. Meantime, we've set up a link to Mike's website at care11.com. Oh, beautiful story, and I loved his, his work. You know, um, that was my favorite saddle too. And the uh, the pounding away. Yeah, just his artist, <laughs> no. he's a character, just great man. And he loves what he does. He's got a passion yeah. for it. It's great. Yeah. Well, uh, a lot of people were.